Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm literally going to just do my eyebrows. The products that I like to use for my eyebrows and I have been using a lot for my eyebrows are the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade, the Anastasia Dear Brow Pomade, the Maybelline Instant AG1 Concealer, and the Tarte um, Angled Brush with, it comes with this booty at the end. Using this flat edge brush. Um, very thin to clean up your eyebrows. This was a dollar from Walmart and it's from the brand e.l.f. So it's not that bad. It's not that expensive either. So girl, I got you. Except this one, but this one was a gift. So yeah, but I'm going to repurchase it because I'm running out as you can see. Yeah. But First, I'm going to start off by using this bully to just brush my eyebrows. Let me just zoom in for you guys. So you guys can see and get a glimpse or whatever of my eyebrows and uh yeah. i really want to find the shape of your eyebrow um the arch you want to find the arch where it ends where it starts what i like to do is um since my eyebrows are very straight in the front and i don't have much of an arch and i have a semi long tail and the same thing with the other eye I don't like to overdraw my eyebrows much unless it's needed. Like right here, I will draw the outside in and then shade it in. But there's a difference between drawing your eyebrows on and shading your eyebrows in. The brush that I'm going to be using to shade in my eyebrows, I'm just going to be grabbing this and flattening the brush like so and making sure that it is flat as I can get it so it's easier and more precise on my eyebrows. Now I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony to um, outline my eyebrows. I'm going to start off here in the front very lightly, the lightest you can and then as you can see, I'm missing some hairs right here. So I'm going to press harder on this area and also on this area. And I'm going to start on the arch of my eyebrow on the top and line this in. Like that. And I know it looks crazy right now, but I swear it's going to look so much better. And on the front, I barely even touch it. Less than what we touched here. And I'm going to connect those two in. And now, with the front of the eyebrow, because it's supposed to be the lightest part of your eyebrow, you're just going to want, with the angled brush, the shortest side facing you, you're just going to want to brush the product upwards almost disappearing it and blending it into the actual skin because that's supposed to be, once again, the lightest part of your eyebrow. And now with the excess, I'm gonna fill in the sparse areas where, I'm, where there is less hair. And now that it looks like this or a little weird, um, I'm gonna take my NYX uh, Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade and I'm going to do again the same thing, and not the brush, grab some product, like look good in the end when you conceal and everything. My eyebrows always look like this crazy and whatnot before I clean them up with concealer. I really recommend cleaning them up with concealer to sharpen them and whatnot. But if you do have a very still hand and you can do your eyebrows without making them look like all bushy and out like overlined and faded and all that, then you go ahead and do that. But this is what I like to do with my eyebrows and if you don't like it, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm going to be grabbing the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Ebony. I'm going to be grabbing the um, Dip Brow Pomade and... Um, the tail of the eyebrow is supposed to be darker. Well, to me, I like it darker. And right here, I always go in here because this is the part that I don't 
have any hair. You're gonna wanna grab your spoolie and blend it. You don't want any harsh lines or any parts that are just very, what the frick? <laughs> and now with the concealer, and this is in the color Light Pale, um, I'm gonna twist some up. Grab uh, your flat angled brush and on the back of your hand, um, I like to just take it all off and add some more because you can never have enough concealer to clean up your eyebrows because you know these babies gotta be clean. And as you can see, there's a huge difference between these two brows. Grab some product and now we're gonna clean up these these eyebrows. Now we're going to work on the top of the brow. And now with a very fluffy brush, you're just going to want to blend everything in. That is literally it, guys. I'm not even joking. It's not that hard. You just go from a messy brow and then you just clean it right up. That's literally all I do. But um, I'm just going to do my other eyebrow and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay. I just put some foundation and I put some mascara on. Um, and yeah, just so it does so it looks like less weird, you know. But I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. But I want to thank you guys so much for reaching. 1,000 subscribers and not only that we reached 1,400 subscribers like holy shit like thank you so much from the bottom of my heart you don't understand how it means so much to me so thank you so much I love you guys so so much um I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again I like my eyebrows like this this is how I do my eyebrows because I love dark and thick eyebrows so yeah some people might like it some people might not but i don't really care because this is how i like it all my social media will be down below hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so 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 much Mwah.